Hi Robotarians, welcome back to Robo How To, Roboterra's instructional video series. Today, we're going to take a look at the button. Buttons are everywhere. They're on your cell phone, they're on your keyboard laptop, they're on your old school grandparents, typewriters, they're all over the place. They're even on your TV remote. Let's learn how they work. To build, I'm going to be using my button, my red LED, two wires, my RoboCore controller board, and of course, my Castle Rock online learning platform account. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take my red LED, attach one end of the wire, and the other end of the wire is going to go into RoboCore, into port DIO1. Nice and gently, like so. I'll do the same with the other wire. One end goes into the button, and the other end into RoboCore, into DIO2. Now let's look at the coding. First, I use the class name Roboterra RoboCore to name my robot. I like to name it after myself, Tom. Second, I've got to list my electronics. Using the class name Roboterra LED, I'll name my LED red. And using the class, class name Roboterra button, I'm going to name my button BT. Next, I've got to tell RoboCore where my electronics are attached. My LED red is attached to port DIO1. And my button BT is attached to port DIO2. Third, inside the handle Roboterra event, I'll use a conditional statement to tell my robot what I'd like it to do. Using our own API is type, I've said if the event is the type of button press, then my LED red will turn on. Let's run my program. Okay, I'm going to press my button once, and my LED comes on just like that. Thanks for joining us, Robotarians. Don't forget to join us on social media. Roboterra, we make, you create.